Jake Tunnel here. You ever been at the beach and seen these signs whenever you're coming up and think, what in the world, there's a sign up here? It's got a lock on it. And you look around the side and you're like, okay, there's nothing to hide in there. So what's the deal? Well, I'm gonna tell you all about what these signs are that say Texas Beach Watch and how it's helping to keep our beaches safe. These signs are actually paid for by the Environmental Protection Agency. And then the program that goes out and tests water quality, specifically bacteria, is the Texas General Land Office. And so they have these up and down the coast. There's actually 168 stations up and down the coast on beaches that have areas where people go kayaking, fishing, swimming, uh, anything that um, you can be in the water and actually get the bacteria in your mouth because that's whenever problems happen. Now, they go out every week during peak season. And if you, normally when people go to the beach, when is it? When the water's warm. So typically May through September, they go out every week and they sample for bacteria. Enterococcus is the type of bacteria they're looking for. And it's not necessarily that enterococcus might get you sick, but that one's easy to detect, easy to sample. And so they, they do that as like an indicator species because there's a lot of other bacteria and uh, uh, pathogens and things that can get you sick and give you diseases and all that, that go along with enterococcus. Now, the, why would they look at enterococcus? Well, that is one of the bacteria that uh, is uh, related to stormwater runoff, sewage. Uh, you know, it, it can be in our guts. And so that's why we look for it, because if you can find that, there can be some bad stuff out there. Now, uh, a thing to remember is that when it rains, that's when you have a bunch of stuff that's running off the land into the stormwater and out into the bay or the gulf. Now, uh, what I've noticed, and you can actually, they have a website, and I'm gonna put this website up there and tell you a little bit about it, but you can go to the website, and if you look at the gulf beaches, it is very rare that there is ever high enterococcus levels. Uh, most of the time it's in the bay, and why would that be? It's because that's where the stormwater runoff from urban areas happens. And so how would this bacteria even get out there, you're thinking? Well, um, think of uh, all the birds that are pooping out there, the dogs, that's why we say pick up your dog waste if it's out there. Uh, that's something you can do at home. Um, possums, raccoons, uh, coyotes, all these things that are living in and around the city. That, all of that is all running off into the bay and uh, sometimes into the gulf. Now, um, um, during the off-peak season, so when the water temperatures are cold, so that would be, you know, starting in October, we get cold fronts coming in, uh, and then through, say, April time frame, they go out every other week and sample. And so, say if they go out, they take a sample, and their level of looking at those enterococcus is if they find 104 of them, in 100 milliliters, so 104 colony forming units is what it's called. If they find that many uh, within that sampling period, they will go out every single day until they find it going down. And what they find is after a rainfall, usually after two to three days, the levels go back down to normal. So what does that tell me? Uh, if you know it rained, uh, especially in the bay, don't get in the water for two to three days. Um, but most of the time, even in the Gulf, you are fine. Um, I've been surfing in the rain. I actually love going surfing in the rain. Uh, you get these weird conditions where it will be really windy, the rain will hit, the wind will stop, you get these calm conditions, and I've never gotten sick out there. So now there's a couple of different groups that come out and do bacteria sampling. Of course, we know about the General Land Office uh, going out, they fund a lot of it. Uh, they're the ones that have the signs and everything. But then the Surfrider Foundation also goes out and does uh, bacteria sampling at certain beaches. So mainly on um, Mustang and North Padre Islands is where they do theirs. But the process is similar by going out, taking uh, bacteria samples, um, being able to get it to the lab, to testing, to see how high the concentrations of bacteria are in the water for human safety. So let's talk with somebody at the Surfrider Foundation that actually goes out and does some of this sampling. 
Um, yeah, Blue Water Task Force mainly tests for Enterococcus bacteria, which is actually a fecal bacteria in the water that can make people ill. This is the sample bottle that we use, and we take it out into the water. We try to get in about waist deep water and then turn the bottle upside down so it doesn't get contaminated by a bunch of air and without touching the bottom, get your sample up and get the lid on. Sample collected, now it's gonna go into the ice bin so it stays uh, fresh for the lab. We've also got a QR code sticker that we uh, put out. You can get one from us and if you scan it with your phone, it'll give you the water quality at Bob Hall, South Pack, and North Pack. Okay, well, there you have it. Um, you know, now we know how GLO and the Surfrider Foundation are going out sampling for bacteria and letting us know how we can find out whether it's safe to get in the water because of high concentrations of bacteria or not. So let's get back into checking out these signs. Um, now you can go to the website, uh, texasbeachwatch.com. It'll show a map. It'll show all the different places that they sample up and down the coast and it'll get color coded. And so there will be green, yellow, or red. Green is it's good. Yellow is eh, it's getting close to that 104 colony, colony forming units. And then red is, you know, it's over. And it's rare that you'll ever see it red unless you've got a lot of rain. And well, in Texas, we've been in a drought, I think for like many, many years. Um, but anyway, that three days in the water, that's what you got to watch out for. So, um, so be able to go to that Texas Beach Watch. Know that uh, if it is high, it will go down. No need to change your plans if you're coming to the beach and you see a red the next day or even a, a couple of days after that, it's probably going to be green. So that's the good news. But anyway, it's all in an effort to try to uh, help protect the health and safety of people. So this sign right here, um, why is it locked? Well, they don't want it flapping down because whenever they have it open, that means it's red. And that means you shouldn't be going in the water or it's advised not to go in the water. And uh, so they put that down whenever the colony forming units are high for bacteria and it will be bright orange. And so it's locked up right now. That means it's good, we're safe, let's head to the beach. Okay, hopefully you uh, learned a little bit more about what these signs are and how you can be safe whenever you're at the beach. And we'll talk to you on the next beach coming. Bye.